Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Have you guys been, have you guys ever been in a tennis match and the umpire yells out, ball change? Have you ever, have you ever thought about what that means and why it's going to happen or why it happens? How does, it, how does it affect the players? Do they look forward to it? Or is it something they dread? Well, you're going to have to wait for this one. Stay tuned. Okay, ball change. Oh, ball change. Hi, Coach Chris. All right, so why... Do they change out the balls so often in a pro match? You know, in ATP, WTA matches, they change the tennis balls out every seven, seven in the first game, and then nine games after that, thereafter until the match is over. Um, a tie break will equal to one. Okay, tie break equals to one. So if you go into a tie break, if that one is part of the nine, they'll change it accordingly. So, but why do they do it? Um, first of all, first off, let me tell you that every time they start a match, they open up two cans of balls. So that's a consistent. It's always going to be two cans to start, ball change, two cans go back in old balls go out, okay? But why do they do that? So I got my man, Coach Chris here today, who's been on the ITF tour, um, and hopefully can shed some light on uh, why they do ball change, okay? So Coach Chris, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so why, why do they change ball so often? So the biggest thing is that when you're playing uh, a match, the duration of the balls, the, uh, the properties of it, so like whether the felt or the condition of it too as well, it deteriorates so they lose less bounce um, and the balls become softer. Uh, that's why they change the balls um, uh, during the match. Okay, so seven balls on the first time around because um, you went through the warm up with it. Okay. So since you're since you've been on tour, you played matches. Obviously, we all when we bust open a new can, mm -hmm. it's going to be fast. Yep. It's going to be fresh. It's going to bounce high. Yep. Um, at the tail end of those nine games let's say mm -hmm. um is there really a difference yeah i think so um you get used to them you do get used to them but i think that's primarily because they lose the uh the quality of the ball drops a bit so it's like they lose it loses it's it's become softer so then like you definitely feel the ball a lot more when you're striking it it comes off the strings a bit more you get more power control so you do notice a difference so the felt gets whacked off. When the felt gets whacked off, does that make the ball go faster? I think so, yeah. Um, you said you get more power, you can, you're used to the ball a bit more. And then, like, it's, it's just a little bit, uh, I guess, easier to play with. Oh, well's all broken in a little right. bit too, right? It is, yeah. Okay, so when ball change comes along, ball suddenly, change. suddenly, you got new can of balls, yeah. two new cans of balls out. Yep. What happens then? So you have a playing uh, pro match, you have to adjust pretty quickly. The balls are new. Um, you also have to factor that in too as well, especially when you're serving too. Um, you do, and, and you do get a lot more pop out of it. So the person that's returning to as well will have to be on their toes a bit more, especially the different kind of ball that you might be playing with. Maybe if you're playing with the US Open, uh, the ball will, you know, 
uh, come through a lot faster versus right maybe if you play with a heavier ball um, a pen or something like that right pens are a bit harder right um, you know maybe they won't be uh, th they will it will feel a little bit heavier on, on the racket when you're playing with, uh, with a brand new pen so things different little things you have to factor into as well when you're when you get um, a ball change so so what Coach Chris is talking about is um, those in the know um, kind of can figure out what the different types of balls play like, like especially right after you open up a brand new can. Um, in my personal opinion, you know, pens are a little harder and a little faster uh, for the first 10 minutes. Uh, Wilson's feel a little lighter and a little, and a little faster, but I feel like the pens are a slightly heavier ball uh, more like bullets for about that first 10 minute mark. Uh, that's just my own personal experience. I'm, I don't know how Coach Chris probably feels the same way. Um, so when when they call ball change, would you prefer to serve or would you prefer to receive? Probably serve. I think serve is probably, I would rather do that. Um, I get a couple feet, you know, if, if I can. Maybe some cheap points if I'm lucky to. Maybe uh, an ace or two would be nice, but it's always better to serve when you get you can of uh, fresh balls to play. Because yeah, that ball's coming faster at you, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, have you ever hit a ball so long or so much in those nine games? that literally the felt is all gone, the wording is all gone. It's literally a naked ball. Yeah, actually, uh, depending on what court you are on to as well. Uh, so if you're on like a really fast, hard court or a surface that like really eats up at the ball, I think that's also another thing that you maybe wish that you get, you know, balls, new balls right away. Because um, it changed the game a lot and, they, and like the heat um, play on play, all these things, you'll, you'll see that the ball changes drastically as you keep playing. Maybe like the advantage of having fresh new balls is that you can have um, the advantage to right, um, send the ball a bit quicker into the court or into spaces to hurt your opponent. Um, but that gets taken away a bit too as well. Um, really, yeah, again, it just depends on kind of the climate, the surface too that you're playing on. Uh, the conditions on the court, if, if there are good courts, you know, there's some tournaments that are things on pretty questionable surfaces, pretty tough surfaces, um, and it eats up on the ball quite a bit. So, so on, let's say, a clay surface, <clears throat> does the ball pick up clay and get heavier? Does yeah. the ball get heavier? The ball does, um, it gets heavier, and I find that, I mean, there are also some cases where it, I feel like the ball loses its properties about a lot faster, but then also there are a lot of cases too on on really some tough hard surfaces too that just eat away all the felt right away and, and the lettering on the ball. Were you doing playing in a high school playground? Maybe worse than that, man. Really? Tarmac. Okay. Tarmac is uh, one of the toughest surfaces because it just destroys the ball completely, it, like eats it up and. Uh, you're very close to popping the ball, really, because you're eating away at all the felt and whatever's underneath that ball. So oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Do you ever play on a surface where there's a crack down the middle with weeds growing on it? Not weeds, but definitely uneven, uneven surfaces for sure. Should that wear the ball out, obviously? Yeah, uh, wear the ball out. You know, uh, probably pretty dangerous playing on those surfaces too. So maybe wear yourself out. See, on the ITF tour, it's, it's not an easy life. Cause, you know, you're sliding on cracks, so you don't you might break your neck doing that, right? Your conditions are tough. You, some of these tournaments are the courts are not the ideal courts that we, you know, that you typically play at your local club or even at your local park too as well. They're probably, if not, maybe the same or a step below. So, so just be prepared to play out anything. Uh -huh. So on the ITF tour, the challengers tours, um, obviously the pro circuit, um, they all do the changing of the balls then. Yeah. So I know that in league play, 
uh, USTA stuff that um, you get one can of balls um, and then the home team gets to choose if it goes into a third set whether they will use new balls or not. So I know USTA has that rule. Okay, so in the college, it's every set that you get a new can of balls. I guess in every competitive tennis match, except for maybe high school, because uh, they can't afford it, uh, that there are some type of ball changes to you know, keep it more consistent, uh, to keep it fresh, right? So you don't play with dead balls. Coach Chris, any uh, last words on balls? I think that with the ball change, uh, like I said, you have to make sure you uh, factor that in when you're playing when you're playing your your first game or either serving or returning. Um, I, but I think it really does differentiate a lot of the pros um, and and their technique to handle uh, fresh balls because that's something that's really tough to do because they're actually they're they're, they're, they're flying a lot faster they're, they're, they're you know it's it's when it's uh, when the tennis balls are at its best basically so you have to be at your best yeah that's probably the biggest thing okay guys so listen to coach Chris prepare for the new balls they will be faster they will be fresher don't let it eat you up I want to thank my man coach Chris here today hanging out with me talking about balls where can we find you? You can find me at CD Chen Tennis, um, and I'll post all that content there too as well. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.